this video, I will show you how to use Streamer's word filtering command. When you use this filter, Streamer scans your transcript to automatically identify and replace inappropriate words with asterisks. Let's take a look at the help menu to find this command. Notice that it's shown in the site-wide section of the manual. This is because you can use this one command to set the desired filter for all your rooms on your website. There are three settings you can use, none, medium, and strict. When you select a filter, it's added to the room versus a person's user account. For example, if I type set filter all strict, now every room that I own is set to use a strict filter. If you do not specify a room, then the command only applies to the room that I'm currently located in, which in this case is my personal room called Chris. Note that the command applies to rooms versus individual accounts. When you set a filter for a room, it applies to everyone that uses that room. For example, if you are a teacher and you apply the strict filter to a room, you have made that apply to everyone in the room. A student that is viewing the captioning cannot change that setting to medium or none. There is one exception to this rule. Another person viewing the captioning can choose to apply a more strict filter than the room setting. If the room owner has selected none as the filter option, you as a guest in that room can use this command to set your personal view of the transcript to use a medium or strict filter. You can only make your setting more strict than the one set by the room's owner. You cannot relax this setting. If the room owner has set the filter for that room to be strict, then you cannot override that setting to use medium or no filter at all. And there's one more command I want to mention. Let's go back to the help menu. Here is the show filter command. Use this to view the current filter setting for a room. Again, typing the room name is optional. If you leave that out, then typing this command shows you the filter setting for the room you're currently using. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching.